Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Today I wanted to do another um, Oracle deck walkthrough. This one is the Herbal Healing Deck by Sarah Baldwin and it's illustrated by Ashley Burkham. And before I get into this deck, I wanted to say that I am changing the name of my YouTube channel. So the new name for this channel is The Botanical Witch. Um, it was previously Moonstone Cottage. That name didn't really resonate with me as much as this new name. So I had to find something that I was happy with um, and that I resonated with and described me and what I'm about and what my channel is about. So if you see new videos um, from The Botanical Witch, it is still the same channel. And if you're new here and if you see previous videos and it says Moonstone Cottage, it is the same channel. It's just going to be a different name. So with that out of the way, let's get into this deck. I chose um, the Herbal Healing Deck to do a walkthrough today because today is one of the days we celebrate in bulk, which is the cross quarter Sabbath um, that marks the midway point between Yule, which is the winter um, solstice, and Ostara, which is the spring equinox. So this is a particular um, Sabbath that we celebrate. You know, it celebrates new life, new growth, that sort of thing, um, among others. And this deck to me kind of reminded me of new life, renewal, growth, uh, because this is a plant deck. Um, this deck has, you know, it just resonates with new life and spring to me and the coming of sunshine and the coming of new life. So that is why I chose this particular deck to do today. So the box itself is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Um, some of the illustration on here and the wording um, is glossy and the rest of it is kind of matte, which makes for a very pretty uh, box. And there's the back. And it is a hard box and it's huge. And what I like about this box is when you open it up, it's it's got these two strings here to hold it open. Um, here is the author and here's a little bit about the illustrator. Um, this is where the cards sit. And then the guidebook is absolutely amazing. It's very big and it's full color full full color um, what I like about this deck is they have separated the cards into four categories so you've got your roots you've got your herbs flowers and trees and then you know the corresponding page numbers for it and then it's about the deck dancing with the plant spirits and how to use this deck and you know each each card that they go through is very very detailed um, let me try to find one this is how to use the deck um, there's some sample spreads for you and it goes right into the plants so let's look at one of the cards for roots Okay, so this one is black cohosh, and it's darkness, and it has a keyword right there. And then each card has almost, sometimes, almost three pages worth of information. It goes into the history of the actual plant, um, basically kind of botanically botany type, you know, information. Um, where you can find it, how to harvest it, what it's good for, and then it goes into the actual card's message itself. And it does this for every single card, which is really nice. 
and like I said, it goes through every single plant, root, tree, flower. And the actual guidebook is about 145 pages long. So there's that. Um, I will say that if you're interested in getting into herbal medicine and the therapeutic uses, the history of certain plants, trees, roots, that sort of thing, this would be a good deck to work with because it is so detailed in this book. Um, it is kind of like a little reference book as well. So that's what I really liked about this deck. So now let's get on with the cards. This is the back of the card very pretty it is a glossy deck as you can see so it does stick a little bit but I believe the more you work with it you know the easier it will be to shuffle I don't work with this deck as much as I should um, just because I have so many Oracle decks and so many plant decks that I work with that I tend to you know grab for the smaller decks um, but I should use this deck more because it's beautiful. The messages are gorgeous. All right, so let's get into the actual cards themselves. First one up is Oak Strength. And this card is so true because oak trees are so strong. They have such strong energy, wise energy. And as you can see, each one is going to have a little symbol down at the bottom, and this one is the symbol of trees. So you'll know that this one you can find in the tree section. And each one does have a face, every single face. And of course, each one has a border and they're all different colors. Dream Root Dreams. Red Root Shadow Side. Shooting Star Life Purpose. Wormwood Mystery Hops Celebration Cherry Renewal I love this card. The image is so pretty. Elder, Ancient Wisdom. Spilanthes, Decision. I love this plant. It's a very good plant for um, any mouth pain, tooth pain that you're having. It's also called the eyeball plant. Violet Introspection Aloe Resourcefulness Golden Seal Healing Hawthorne, Heart Healing. I love this card, and Hawthorne is amazing for heart health. Burdock, Detoxify.
St. John's Wort Illumination. Horsetail, Higher Self. Bone Set, Structure. Tulsi, Faith. Oats, Fertility. Turmeric, Persistence. Vitex, Self Mastery. Motherwort, Initiation. Butterfly Weed, Transformation. That's a pretty card. Reminds me of spring. Chamomile, Inner Child. Black Cohosh, Darkness. Devil's Club, Reclaim Power. Ginkgo, Patience. Poison Ivy, Caution. Teasel, Protection. Rose, Open Heart. Such a true keyword for this plant. Colt's foot, presence. And I will do a couple more. Maple, abundance. I think my favorite cards in this deck are the trees. They're just, the images on these are just amazing for the trees. Pine Awakening Nettle Receiving Wood Betney Grounding And one more Dandelion Manifestation. So that is the Herbal Healing Deck. There are, you know, a little bit of cards we did not go through. I always like to keep a little bit of mystery and surprise if you are interested in the deck. So that is the deck. Um, I, I really recommend this deck if you are interested in herbal healing. Um, like I said, as you know, it is the the book is sort of a reference um, and it does go into a little bit of detail about each of the plants. If you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that, leave them down below. If you have this deck as well, let me know if you use it and how you like it. And I hope you guys have a magical day and I hope that you have a blessed in bulk.